Recently, an Inside Star Citizen video shared some details about the improved Snake Pit Racing Area, which hit live in 3.17.2, but also a plan for 3.18 to include a Grey Cat PTV racetrack that can bring new life to some of the convention centres during downtime between hosting events. And those tracks look really quite interesting, so in this video we'll talk about what that sort of thing can bring to the game. I'm Farrister, and my YouTube channel has lots of Star Citizen videos, ranging from guides to reviews, so if this kind of video sounds useful, you might want to check out a few more, or even subscribe to be notified when new videos go live. So, I'll be the first to admit, I'm not close to the racing scene in the game, but equally, I'm excited by the idea of more support. Whilst there is the Arena Commander game mode, the community has also developed races in different ways in the Persistent Universe, almost entirely without official developer support thus far. All of which is quite hard to describe, whilst avoiding using the phrase emergent gameplay. But, it's only a small subset of players who experience such things, and accordingly it could be challenged as to why development time and resources being spent developing this area, given the relative popularity versus other activities. But, aside from the fact that it was noted that this was done in downtime between tasks, I'd like to suggest that the small amount of development time actually adds a lot to the game, and not just for the racing community. What it adds is variety, with more to see and do. How many of you visited the Snake Pit since the patch just to see what it looked like? How many of you experienced some of the in-game events? The idea of having little activities like Grey Cat Racing to just offer something different by way of an uncomplicated minigame is really exciting. You probably won't go often, but it opens up avenues and choices, not to mention a reason to visit some of the expo centres out of season. And if you're showing a new player around the game, it gives even more ways to impress, not just with your knowledge of the cool little places to visit, but in that Star Citizen has the ambition to be a living, breathing universe. And of course, the possibilities are endless. So, the developers are exploring a little bit of Grey Cat Go-Kart Racing to use the Expo Hall, but what's to say in the future there couldn't be Desperado Laser Tag, or Pico Bowling, or a pop-up market, mini golf, or an escape room? The possibilities of relatively simple to develop mini games using existing game technology are simply huge, and I personally hope to see some cool ideas from the community. Maybe one for Astro Chronicles to consider. Anyway, that's a long-winded way of saying that I'm a big fan of little things like this, that I don't expect to experience often in Star Citizen, but will add depth to the game, just knowing that they're there. And as long as they avoid copyright trouble with the Stario Kart racing title. But what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you might press that like button to tell me to make more videos like this. And sorry if you found my voice a little laboured for this one. It's proved surprisingly difficult to record a voiceover with the dreaded plague. But otherwise, and as ever, thank you for watching.